जेंटलमैन ऑफ द जूरी एट द क्लोज ऑफ प्लेटिवस केस एंड अगेन एट द क्लोज ऑफ द एंटायर केस काउंसिल फॉर द डिफेंडेंट मूव टू डिसमिस द कंप्लेट स्टॉप बोथ दोज मोशंस यू विल रिमेंबर वर डिनाइड बाय मी स्टॉप फ्रॉम द डिनाइल ऑफ दोज मोशंस यू आर नॉट टू इनफर दैट द कोर्ट इज ऑफ द ओपिनियन दैट द प्लेटिव should succeed stop those are simply rulings on questions of law to the effect that if there is a question of fact involved in any case it is the court's duty to submit that question of fact to you for your determination stop the law affecting a case of this kind is that before the plaintiff can recover he must establish to your satisfaction four elements he must prove to you that representations were made which were contrary to the facts stop in other words he has got to prove that this defendant either through himself or through some agent authorized by him to make the statement represented certain facts to be true stop second he has got to prove that the defendant or the party making the representations that is if such party made them on behalf of the defendant with his knowledge and consent knew that said representations were false and were not the fact stop third he has got to prove the further fact that as a result of these representations they entered into an agreement in other words that such representations gave rise to the agreement that was entered into stop and fourth which is perhaps the most important element in the case that the plaintiff relied upon the representations and that relying thereon he was induced to enter into the agreement and suffered damage thereby stop it is not for you gentlemen in this case to say whether this plaintiff made a good bargain with the defendant or a poor one when he entered into the agreement to purchase these premises stop what you have got to determine before you can find in the plaintiff's favor is that these representations were made that the defendant or his agent made these representations knowing them to be false and that the plaintiff berlin brought these premises because of said representations stop in other words that what induced him to enter into the contract for the purchase of the was the fact that it was owned by a rich uncle of this defendant who had bought it many years before for 27000 dollars and that he had given it to this defendant stop if you find all of those facts in favor of the plaintiff then your verdict should be for the plaintiff stop if you find any one of them lacking your verdict should be for the defendant stop you have heard 
what the plaintiff had to say stop he tells you that this man lavin called to see him several times and told him that he had a bargain and that this house belonged to a rich uncle of the defendant stop that there was some talk about wanting $25000 for the property which was reduced to $22500 and that then the price was finally reduced to $21750 stop he tells you that there was a mortgage of some $15000 on the property and that there was to be a second mortgage given which was to be a purchase money mortgage stop his wife was called and she testified substantially the same as the plaintiff stop mr marx was called as a witness and told you what he knows of this transaction stop mr marx is a reputable attorney a member of our bar stop he tells you that he had a conversation with mr berlin prior to entering into the contract and he told him not to enter into this contract without stating any reasons stop he tells you further that after some delay the contract was entered into and that this plaintiff called to see him shortly after the contract was signed and told him at that time that he did not want to take title mentioning several reasons but not the fact that he had been told that this property belonged to a rich uncle of the defendant stop that testimony is to be considered by you in determining whether or not the plaintiff has given you the correct version as to what happened stop the defendant tells you that he made no such representations and he called the janitor mr handelsman who tells you that the plaintiff called there some two or three times that he remembers him once in particular being there between christmas of 1918 and new years of 1919 and that he showed the plaintiff through the building at that time from the basement to the top floor and that he saw him there on one or two other occasions stop that testimony is also important and should be considered by you because even if representations are made and the party to whom the representations are made has an opportunity to see for himself whether or not the facts are as stated it will help you in determining as to whether or not he relied upon the representations which he claims were made to him stop the plaintiff has the burden of proof stop by that it is meant that he must establish his case substantially as alleged by a fair preponderance of the evidence stop by a fair preponderance of the evidence however is not meant the number of witnesses stop 
it has reference to quality of testimony stop 